isn't it perfectly legitimate for people to loathe Margaret Thatcher and to want to celebrate her death on the streets? I think it's absolutely legitimate for people to express extremely strong feelings for somebody who was a very controversial character. Um, I think she's often been described as having been divisive. Um, she, and I remember at the time thinking she had little empathy for an awful lot of the people whose lives she was affecting. I fought her quite hard. I think absolutely understandable that people should have those feelings and they should express them in some way or other. I actually think that to go and celebrate in the pub, have a drink, discussion with friends, um, you know, even to sing a song, it's free country, fine. I don't actually think this is about the politics, I think it was about what's appropriate response and behaviour. And I just think it's, it's damaging to Bristol and it's immediately damaging to the people whose lives are affected who are in the immediate neighbourhood to hold the sort of party that ends up in, with the behaviour that did end up with. So, I mean, I've had quite a bit of feedback from, from people who've told me that it was extremely disruptive and that they were frightened. I think what really woke me up to it was when I got an email from a friend in Russia, who's not an oligarch, you know, somebody who is a, um, you describe them as an old Leninist, uh, not a rich person who said, what's going on in Bristol? It sounds horrible. You know, they had immediately got the right on the international news. A policeman hurt in Bristol, um, riot against Thatcher legacy. Um, we hold Thatcher in great esteem in Russia. Now, you know, I mean, we hold Gorbachev in great esteem in the UK. They don't hold him in great esteem in Russia. And, as, and I think we should, whatever our feelings, we should make allowance for the fact that here was a woman who believed in what she was doing. It may have had some very adverse effects on some people, and it did. Um, but I think we should allow for the fact that some people actually admire what she did, and I think one should allow for the fact that we were in a mess. Before George, she came in. If I could okay. just stop you there, I mean, Richard, you, you were at the party, and mm -hmm. George saying it's not about the politics. Wasn't it all about the politics? Um, politics, personality, I think yeah. each individual person will have had mm. their own experience of Thatcherism, and, and we'll, we'll have carried that on some of us through our lives. Um, and so, yeah, it was all about politics and how you felt personally about Margaret Thatcher. Yeah. Mm. What did you think about the taking it onto the streets of Bristol and the, for the violence which made the headlines? It wasn't the politics that made the headlines, was it? It was the violence. Um, I think mixing up the media reporting with the reality of what happened is maybe part of the problem. Mm. Yes, stuff got reported in the press, there'd been trouble in Bristol and so on. But I went to um, a gathering outside a pub turned up about nine o'clock, left about midnight, had a good chat with mates, there was music playing, I was there thinking, this is a bit loud, this is going to annoy the neighbours, but it's a bit of a one-off, that kind of thing happens in East Bristol. There was no trouble while I was there, and I didn't, I was surprised to wake up the next day and hear on the news that there had been any. Um, I think possibly the police made a <coughs> decision with maybe timing or how they acted, and that the, the event was peaceful, without violence, without any damage, up until the police got involved. Maybe if the police made a different decision, things would have been different and we wouldn't even be here because it would just have been a bit of a noisy party that came to an end of itself. Chris, do you want to pick up on that point? Yeah, I, th I, th I think whilst everybody has a democratic right to, to, to party or enjoy themselves or demonstrate or protest, I think there's two sides to this. You know, it's a residential area. Lots of people were trying to get some sleep, to rest, children to go to school, so on and so forth. And, and our position is very, very difficult in that because we have to balance the, the competing rights of, of two sets of individuals. Um, and on, on that night in question, a number of times, officers have approached the crowd, encouraging people to turn, turn the music off at midnight, to complete their party, go back to homes, addresses, wherever, 
um, to, to allow that balance. Now, that midnight came, midnight went, and things became more aggressive as, as people drank more alcohol. And then officers were subject to an attack with hands, bottles. And then we get into that very, very difficult, difficult sort of piece where we have to balance those rights against the volume of complaints coming in from local residents. The fact that people were phoning up and telling us, well, why aren't you acting upon it? Why aren't you dealing with this? As well as protecting the rights of those people who enjoy themselves. It's a difficult decision. But when officers come under attack, um, people are phoning to say people are urinating in, in local residents' gardens. Um, people's properties being damaged, then of course we have to act.